Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic with the Halloween 2021 event and I am here with just floating about is a viewer of mine who sent me a gift and the gift are the very item that I need to complete the scary kayak race. Been looking for the darn things everywhere. I checked in this like five different places. Got tons of all I mean just all kinds of stuff. Bat wings and pig's eyes and all kinds of stuff. But he sent me the black cat's hairballs. I need two of them. He sent me five. And I don't know if I need them for the next leg of the race but I seriously appreciate that so I just want to be sure to send a shout out to him for thanking him for that. I am going to go ahead and claim that. I appreciate that very much. I don't know why those have been so hard to find. But probably because I need it. <laughs> That's probably the only reason. But yeah, we're here in the Everglades and I was just getting ready to finish up catching the albino yeti gars. I went ahead and got 10 of them. And I think what I'm going to do now is get the last three and we'll head over to St. Croix and try to do that race, guys. Should have plenty of time to do it because this probably won't take too long. Of course, when I say that, then they won't bite. <laughs> but let's go ahead put our rod pot out there. Now, for this one, of course, you need the vulture claw hook and you need the pig size. And you just really need some kind of big gear. So, I've got it on all four, so it shouldn't be any problem catching these. That's why I was able to get this so fast. There's several places I've caught them. There's really no one distinct area. I've caught them over here. On this side. I've caught them right over here behind those lily pads. I've caught them right at that marker right here. And I've caught them at the next marker. The only thing is you might catch a couple of things. One's channel catfish and the other one is sea Florida gar. As you can already see how quickly I got a bite. Now, I don't think this is the albino Yeti Gar. This is probably a Florida Gar. There you go. Not that I'm complaining. I like the Florida Gar. But we are getting a bite on the fourth one. And I think we got us a catfish. So that's the two species that will also go for those pig's eyes. I've got 44 of them because I've been going to all the pumpkins and picking up more and more and more of them and wasn't getting any of the things that I needed. <laughs> so now I've got it. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. So we are going to put these back and see if we can't get these fellas to bite. Come on. They haven't seem like they're biting. Alright. I'm going to see if this is... Nope. I think we got us another catfish. I think I might throw this over here this time. Next to this one. I've been getting a lot of catfish just recently off of there. Yeah, I think this is what we're after here this time. Oh yeah. This is him. This is him. This is he. <laughs> This is a big one. 
Come on, big fella. These are basically a lot like the green ogre and the black vampire. Just a little smaller than the black vampire. Somewhere in between the two sizes. I see 54 pounds. Just that they have no pigmentation. They are completely albino. Just like it says. Get a picture of him. So you guys can see. Yep. Got the red eyes and everything. Sounds like we got another one on four, maybe. Yep, we do. Yeah, I told you this probably wouldn't take too long. The only thing else that we could get here that would pull this hard would might be a unique Florida Gar. But other than that, but no, this is definitely a albino. There we go. 47 pounds. Not quite as big as the last one, but still counts. I think that was the fourth one. Yep. We'll toss this one out here. Yep, I think we may have our last one here, guys. This is pushing this one to the limit. Yeah, this is a cat boxer. This isn't as tough as those other two. But it can handle it. It's just going to take a little more of a fight. Wow, this is a strong one. Holy crap. It's scary to say, how far is he going to take it out? There we go. Come on, 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 come on. Well, he realized he was caught, so. Well, he's going to run again. Let's see. Yeah, sometimes if you can get their heads up, you can bring them right in, just like that. Yep, there you go. That's the last one. 55 pounds. Yeah, I don't think they go much over 60, so... Now, Abano Yeti Gills. Great catch, and now you have another ingredient. And come on, let's get the rest. That's the one we want to try to complete, guys. We need to head to St. Croix. That'll also give us a free ticket to San Juan Keen. So we're going to have to pick up all these. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get all my gear, and we're going to head right over there. All right, guys, we are back, and we are at St. Croix Lake, Michigan. And I know it's daytime, but I wanted to show you which peg we need to come to. We need to come to Fairytale Fishing. And, again, we have to get ready to fa you know fast-forward time. Again, you can only use the kayak. The good thing is that you can get more than one try. At least I did find that out. So let's go ahead and fast forward time to mid, well, 9 o'clock anyway. Alright, looks like the Scarecrow's ready. Sacrifice all the items you found to begin the pumpkin race. Now we start it. New mission, St. Croix Terrifying Pumpkin Race. Now we've already done... We need to jump in the boat.
Now we gotta get 15 of these. We got. Two and a half minutes, I think, is what we've got. We gotta roll like. Nobody's business. The good thing is, it seems like they're just popping up, so that's really helping a lot. Two minutes. Yeah, I don't think the other races did this. Oh boy, I gotta get turned around fast. turned around. Oh shoot. I'm gonna get stuck. <sighs> There's a bunch of them over there. We got one minute left. This is gonna be close. Three more. Two more. And I think I've got it, guys. I think I've got it. There it is. Mission accomplished. St. Croix Terrifying Pumpkin Race. There we go. We got the San Joaquin Pass and Spider Silk Line. Another 1313 cash and another bait coin. Now we gotta go to San Joaquin. So wait until darkness and get three candle ends, one noose, two jaw bones, one black cat's hairball, which I did need that, three bat wings from pumpkins or tombs. Put them in your backpack, sacrifice all these goodies to the scarecrow at the dock. I think I have everything. All right, guys, I think what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can't complete that final kayak race. Because we're getting close to the end of this whole Halloween event. I'm not going to be able to get the Frankenfish, I'm afraid. There's just not enough time. But we can complete the, the races. And I think I do get something kind of cool for that. So I haven't done that particularly part but that particular part of the event before because it's fairly new so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't head on over to San Joaquin let's see leave out of here we should have got enough cash for those two events to pay for the trip or at least close to it Alright, let's go ahead and see this. Yep, it is tracking. So we have that all the things we need. We just need to go there, pretty much. And I believe we even have a day pass for the darn place. Yes, we do. We have the license and everything. So let's head on there. Okay, I have. I would imagine it starts right here at the Foggy Sanctuary, be my guess. Let's go to a private room, and there's the Scarecrow. So we need to 
go ahead, advance time to mid well not midnight. I think 9 p.m. will work. And there's our scarecrow ready to take us on. <laughs> Alright, let's get on board. There's the first one. Gotta get 15 of them. Now these just pop up as you go, so... Just gonna have to figure out which one I'm gonna get next. This will work. I think these are a little bit closer, so let's try to get those. I don't want to get back in there and can't get out of it. Alright, there's one third of them. Okay, we're just gonna have to pick one of these. This one's a little bit closer, I guess. We'll go with that one. Oh, it looks like some more popped up. That's good. It used to be you had 15 of them and that was all you had. So it looks like they've made it a little bit easier to do, thank goodness. But they did decrease the amount of time, so in all fairness. <laughs> But I think if we just keep in this path, we'll be fine. We've got five more to get, and we still have over a minute. Okay, we're going to cut close here. One more. And I think we're going to have a little over 20 seconds to spare. There he goes. Mission accomplished. Sam Paquin, terrifying pumpkin race. You have done it again. Claim that. Mission accomplished. We've got the Vane's leader. I don't know what we do with that. Probably find out later. I'm going to claim that. And we've got... Oh, we got vampire glasses. That's cool. <laughs> 9,990 cash and 3 bait coins. Now, all that's left is a Frankenfish hunt. But I think the one thing, there are two things that are going to hold us up if we go to the missions. Yeah, this jar of fish eyes may not be too bad, but the ghost essence has been, oh, it's been tough. And the bluegill skeleton tail, that's another one that takes some time. But I'm going to keep at it. I might do a lot of it off screen but I'm just a little worried about this ghost essence one, essence one I have been having some serious trouble getting them to bite on those last lures but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this episode please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and hopefully I'll have one more of these before this will all be said and done if I can complete those other missions I have done those videos in the past so I might do those off screen if I can get it completed we're going for the frankenfish that one I will record anyway guys as I always say aim straight cast far and have fun and I will see you later bye bye